over a hundred dollars in this economy a month okay this is super cool because that was the one thing i didn't like and it's like 7 a.m yeah i think seven i woke up at like six and here is the outfit the set is from all in fit i will link it below Good morning. I just got to Cycle Bar. So I am trying Cycle Bar for the second time. The first time I tried it, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, to be honest. It was super intense. I got last place and I'm super competitive. So I thought I need to try this again. The last time I tried it, it was during Pride Month and it was like a Pride ride. It was super fun. Everybody was super nice, super high energy. But I just was not feeling it I was super uncomfortable and anxious the whole time so I thought I need to give it a second chance I have class pass and I have extra credits on my class pass because I forgot to change my plan so I have to burn through a bunch of credits this month so I was like let me try it again see if I redeem myself I'm doing a classic ride and I'm also doing it in the morning I definitely work out better in the morning versus in the evening so we are going to see how this goes I'm not going to take you guys in the workout class with me, but I will update you on how I feel after. Right now, I feel super just happy that I'm actually getting up and going and working out. Okay, I'm back home now, so let's do a little debrief. So, I did Cycle Bar for the first time in June, like I said earlier in the video. I did the pride ride and it was super fun they gave us glow sticks and glow rings and they had a bunch of like paint and stuff it was really cool but the ride and the workout itself was very overwhelming and very intimidating to be honest i had no idea what i was doing i've done cycling classes before but it was at my university in the rec center and they were just free classes that an instructor put on um, they were super basic like you just up your gear and like try to match the music uh, to do a pro and cons list I wrote them down so I wouldn't leave anything out okay so we are going to start with the good the thing that I really like about cycle bar is that there are a lot of time slots so I went to the I think it was like eight o'clock one today which is perfect for me with my work schedule so I was able to go get my workout in come home and log into work on time. So that was number one. They also have uh, some night classes as well. And they have classes every single day, which is nice multiple times a day. So there's definitely classes that can fit in your schedule. I saw some like 5 a.m. ones. I saw some like evening ones that were around six or seven. So whatever time you wanna go, you can definitely go. Number two, it is available on Class Pass. That's a big thing for me. Classes like that can be super expensive. I remember when I lived in Akron, I wanted to sign up for this Pilates studio because I absolutely loved it. I did like a free trial for, I think it was a week and absolutely loved it. I could not afford it though. Like I cannot afford to fork out over a hundred dollars in this economy a month just to work out. So with class pass, I do the $24 plan, I believe. So I get 12 credits. It depends on how many credits your classes are. Most of the time, mine are between two and four. Sometimes I'll wait a little bit, and if a class is super empty, then you can get it for one credit, which is amazing. So it just depends how many. This month, I accidentally forgot to change my plan off of the free trial, so I had an abundance of credits. The staff was super friendly. The confusion and everything that's negative is not their fault, honestly. It's just my personal preference. They were super friendly though. They helped me set up my bike. They knew that it was my second time there and it's been a while since I was there. So they asked if I needed help. I almost said no, I'm glad I didn't because I had no idea what I was doing and I said yes. Happy to help me. The instructor I had, I had the same instructor I did last time. She did a motivational speech and it was super cool. It wasn't cheesy. It got you in the mood to really focus on your ride and be intentional about your workout. That you're doing and I honestly love that when I work out by myself I don't have that I don't give myself a motivational speech like maybe be, I'll look in the mirror and be like hey you lifted heavy today or like I'm happy about a PR I had and I text my boyfriend or something I'll take the time to do anything like that so that was super nice it got me really in tune with the ride 
and overall like the vibes were really good she was super interactive which is cool and everybody just had a really good time like it was really good energy both times i was there they were also super helpful the instructor even said for people who were there the first and second time they could go up to her and ask her any questions after class i didn't because one i was intimidated two i was on a time crunch it worked out that i had just enough time to get back home maybe make something to eat run to the store to get what i needed for today and then run to the store to get a couple things and then come back and log into work so i was tight on time so i did not take advantage of the opportunity but i wish i did okay this is super cool because i'm a very competitive person not necessarily against other people but i am definitely competitive towards myself i always want to do like better than i did if i go to the gym and i haven't been in a while i get so frustrated when i have to go and lower the weight they send you your stats from your previous ride so for example my first ride i was last place i was like not knowing what i was doing this time i was second to last so that's an improvement uh i did go harder in the june ride but i was really intentional to make sure that i was like listening to my body and backing off when i felt like i needed to i pushed myself but i didn't overdo it i've seen a lot of videos where people overdo it in those cycling classes because they're kicking up the gear to however much they're telling them and this is not the instructor's fault no shade to the instructors but they're kicking up the gear and when you don't do classes like that and you jump in you're going to injure yourself just like when you don't lift that much or like you don't lift often or you don't have good form and you go to do a lift you've never done you there's potential to hurt yourself it's the same thing so just being careful with those classes but i really that was a whole sidetrack again but that was something i really really liked was that they send you your stats after so i could compare how i did last time and this time i focused on just like staying on rhythm with the music keeping up i didn't have the gears to the same number as what they were doing one because it was kind of hard to figure out and two because i didn't want to overdo it like i said also keep track of your ride and ride numbers so the first time i was there there was a girl who had her hundredth ride which is awesome and they decorate her locker um the first time i was there they decorate your locker for your first time and then today was my second time so they did like a welcome back and they decorated my locker i'll insert a picture because i thought it was so cute so yeah those are some pros let's go to the cons i did not like the numbers i'm not a numbers girl if it is not tied to money the numbers do not click in my head and it was a lot of numbers when, when i got situated the lady that was helping me she like explained each metric to me really fast and i should have taken the time and asked like more specifics but i wish there was a beginner class to tell you like hey this metric is tied to this and when the instructor says this this is what they mean this is where the number's at on your thing like she did tell me like this is your rpm this is your power like blah 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 but i wish that when the instructor is calling out a two and a three or a range from like five to six and then 120 like if there was some way to know exactly where which that might just be going to the classes more getting more familiar that was the one thing i didn't like and i felt lost today but not as lost as before i also like to be super prepared so keep that in mind like this is just my personal opinion i I'm the type of person that goes to a restaurant and I look up the menu on the way to the restaurant and I know what I'm going to order already. For example, like I just like to be prepared and know what I'm getting into. I did this to challenge myself and it definitely did and it humbled me for sure. Similar to what I said about it being a lot of numbers, it was just confusing for me to follow. It wasn't necessarily beginner friendly, I would say. And I think if I keep going more and getting the hang of it, it'll be a lot easier. The last thing so the last thing is the price without class pass i have class pass but just like any of those other studios the price can be up there if you're thinking about going definitely look on class pass and see if class pass offers that in your area to a cycle bar would i go back 
yeah i definitely would go back i think it's just the competitive nature in myself that because i'm not good at it i want to keep going until i get good and i'm like number two on the leaderboard like i want to go and see myself progress in the numbers and be able to keep up in the class i think it would be a good personal challenge to myself is it confusing yes is it uncomfortable at first yes am i sore yes I think overall it pushed me and it was such a good start to my day like great mood all day i've had very high energy i woke up at 6 a.m to go to this class i used to have trouble waking up for work at nine o'clock like i would wake up at 8 50. so i am so proud of myself for getting out of bed and going and going to this class and it motivated me and it was super fun everybody there is so nice i think it's the type of place that they have like a community you know like for example my gym that i go to there's not much of a community everyone kind of keeps themselves and does their workout get in get out but places like that i feel like there's a chance for community and just getting to know people being around other people it's a good start to your day get you out of the house get something to do they do different classes and different themes. So I signed up for a Latin night next week. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, this was my overall experience with Cycle Bar. So if you guys have been, let me know. And also, I want to know your guys' opinions. Like, am I, the, am I the only one that thinks that it's super confusing? And it might just be literally because I'm awful with numbers. But I'm super curious. So let me know if you guys have been to a Cycle Bar in the comments and how it went.